Good blessed Wednesday uh, evening, June the 19th, 2024. Uh, the time being 6.34 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Freedom of speech, freedom to uh, oppress, uh, for, to, uh, uh, freedom to associate, freedom to gather, freedom to even protest. Uh, as far as association, you have to check with your local law enforcement officials if you're on probation or parole. Uh, sometimes they don't allow you to associate with other people on probation or parole. Unless you're here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County, uh, two felons that I know, uh, well, one of them I know is a felon. I think both of them is a felon. Uh, James O'Connor, uh, he's a felon, uh, been convicted of manslaughter. Uh, beat some other guy with a, a two by four since the manslaughter uh, and been uh, convicted uh, multiple times uh, for having the wild pit bulls around, biting people, attacked me twice. Uh, Melissa, his girlfriend, uh, Melissa Walker, uh, she's on probation too. Both of them on probation. But uh, they let them gather together and won't even put a warrant out for them. Put a th uh, threatened me on May the uh, 17, 2024. James O'Connor did. I said he had a contract on my head. I didn't get a chance to video him when he called me the N-word, but that don't surprise me. But what I'm talking about, what I want to talk about this evening is, and this is no disrespect to any law enforcement official that does their job. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to say that again. This is no disrespect to any law enforcement official that does their job. You see, Raymond Research and Recovery, we report stuff that the news won't report here in Southeast Missouri, uh, that the newspaper won't report in Southeast Missouri, that other people may not know in Southeast Missouri. Uh, some of y'all don't know about uh, down there, 204 uh, North Main Street, that's City Hall, uh, the police station and all that as one. Uh, we uh, got the dispatcher uh, there at the uh, Charles Missouri Police Department here in Mississippi County, sleep twice. But I'm going to show you the latest one uh, y'all probably seen before. And then we got a supervising uh, police officer in Sykeston, Missouri, sleeping in his car with his window down, arm hanging out the window and nodding over like this here. Uh, some of the Raymond Research and Recovery, the Underground Railroad, the CIA, Christian in Action, and the MIA, Muslim in Action, uh, uh, they thought that uh, he had might have had a heat stroke because his face was red. And they come to help, but he got angry when they woke him up in the police car, parked on the street, sleep. You hear me? Nodded like this here. Don't take my word for it. Let the video show it. But anyway, what I'm going to say is this here. Uh, a squad team needed their help, <laughs> but they had to do it on their own. You see what I'm saying? They, they located Raymond Researching Recovery and said, come on down here. We ain't got no backup. <laughs> and then at the end, y'all to see Raymond and research and recovery. You know what I used to do, save lives, a supervisor, as far as a EMT and a CPR instructor, both. But I'm going to leave with this here. Uh, these individuals that's sleeping on the job and getting paid for it, they need to be dismissed. A guy just got shot over here, I think about two weeks ago, on Gale Street, around, in, I think, in the 800 block. Multiple shots. Police came about 20 minutes later. You look at the newspaper, this week newspaper in the in an enterprise carrier. They just put it in here, in there now, uh, saying the Sykes and Missouri Police Department contacted Charleston and said a man might have got shot over here. It ain't no mighty did get shot, and he had to leave because the police dispatcher is asleep, and then the Sykes and, uh supervisor over there, he sleep. So who gonna rescue him? And then they came 20 minutes later. <laughs> no lights, no siren, just like you pulling up in your driveway. Peace be still.
Yeah. Yeah. My type of work, y'all. Saving lives. 